Hi, and welcome to Meetings and Math. You are here for 4.2b, zero slope and no slope. These are special situations, special cases of slope um, that we need to go over. So what is the difference between zero slope and no slope? Today, you're going to need your Jaguar Jots, your pen, pencil, and possibly a highlighter. A ruler will be helpful, your determination and your perseverance. So you should be on 4.2a. That is a good place to start. Um, we need to remember that slope is the delta y over delta x. It's the change in y over change in x. 4.2a is where you had your last lesson. You turn the page to 4.2b. And there's two examples that we want to go over. We want to find the slope of the line that contains the point 1, 7, and 5, 7. And we're going to go ahead and graph it. So make sure you have your X and your, you want to have your X and your Y and you want to also have your um, scales on there. So one, seven, so over one and up seven and five, seven, so over five. And seven. So this is a horizontal line. And if you remember back to our making our graphs from a table, and if you just kind of think about this, this right here is Y is always equal to what number? Y is always equal to seven. So this is our line Y equals seven. That, this is something maybe you did or did not know. And it's okay if you're still kind of going, where'd that come from? Well, you can see that Y was always seven. No matter what we do, Y is always equal to seven. So. That's how I always think about it. Okay, so let's talk about slope. Making the slope triangle here, so M is equal to delta Y over delta X. Let's talk about how much I go up or down. So going from this point to this point, do I go up or down any to get over to this one? No, I don't. It doesn't move at all in an up or down fashion. How far did I move to go from here to here? I moved four to the right, so that's a positive four. But zero divided by anything is zero. And so when we go across like this, it is called a zero slope. We're gonna go ahead and calculate it. So x sub one, y sub one, x sub two, y sub two. So we'll use this for our first point. We use that for a second point. It's not going to matter which one I put first, just as long as I stick with the same point. So seven over one minus minus y first, seven over five. Seven minus seven is zero. One minus five is a negative four. Zero divided by negative four is zero. So no matter which way I did it, whether I did it by looking at it and doing my slope triangle, which does not exist in this case, or I did it algebraically, I still get zero. This is called zero slope. So when I have a horizontal line, it's called zero slope. So again, do your axes and do your scale. And now we're going five, four and five, negative two. We're using a straight edge to make the line. Okay, this is a vertical line. So now we're gonna do it in both of the ways. We're going to make the slope triangle and we're going to do it mathematically. So delta Y over delta X, we always write it down every single time. Even if you think of it memorized, guess what? You're going to write it down again. So, because you want to make sure the reader knows what you're doing. So in this case, delta Y over delta X. So how many did I go up or down? It doesn't matter. Um, five, four was here to there. So I went, one, two, three, four, five, six. I went down six. How many did I go over? None, I didn't. Can you divide by zero? You cannot, so that's undefined. So we call this no slope. I don't know why they call it no slope. They have just decided that they're going to call this no slope. Let's do it mathematically now. Okay, why don't you go set it up? You go do it mathematically and then come on back. All right, so when you did this, your numbers here might look different than mine. 
that's okay. You could have had the negative two minus four on the top. That's fine because it doesn't matter your, whether it's six, minus, six divided by zero or negative six divided by zero, it's still undefined, which is still going to be no slope. Doesn't work. So then what is the difference between zero slope and no slope? Well, look at the directions that your lines are going. In no slope, it is a vertical line. And in zero slope, it is a horizontal line. So that's what I'd like you to do. Will you write the sentence here and define it for yourself? Go ahead and do that and then come on back. So this is what I wrote. Zero slope is when the line is horizontal and no slope is when the line is vertical. And then I added a little bit more. You get horizontal lines when the equation is a y equals a number and you get vertical lines when the equation is x equals a number. And that was from what we learned in a previous lesson. But I wanted to make sure I remembered that. So like this right here, this is the equation x equals what? What was x always equal to here? x was always equal to 5 just so that I could remember that for it later on. So let's go ahead and turn the page and look at this right here. Welcome to the adventure of Slope Dude. Meet Slope Dude. He loves to ski. We are going to follow him and he'll teach us some important aspects of slope. This is the course he's skiing today. Again, what he says will teach us about slope. You need to remember that Slope Dude always skis toward the right or eastward. When he starts out, he's going uphill. It's hard work. He says puff, puff, positive as he goes up the mountainside. Puff, puff, positive. Puff, puff, positive. Puff, puff, positive. Now he's at the top. It was puff, puff, positive all the way up the mountain. But now he can look forward to the downhill. On the way down the mountain, he says nice, negative. Nice, negative. And now, after the downhill, he's in for the hardest part of the ski run, the long, flat part. He says, this is zero fun. This is zero fun. This is zero fun. This is zero fun. And as he finishes the flat part, he doesn't see well ahead. And all of a sudden, he comes to the edge of a cliff. It's straight down. So frightened is he that he says the worst curse word possible in math and in algebra. Undefined! This has been the Adventure Slope Dude. Remember always what he said during his ski trip. Up the hill or up the slope, he said, puff, puff, positive. On his downhill run, he said, nice, negative. On the long, flat part of the course, he said, this is zero fun. And finally, when he went over the vertical cliff and went straight down, he yelled the worst curse word of math and algebra, undefined. The uphill is a slope with a positive number. The downhill is a slope with a negative number. The flat part is a slope of zero. And the straight up and down or vertical part is undefined. This has been the Adventure of Slope Dude. Thanks for viewing. Let's imagine that I have a guy skiing. If this guy is skiing, Right here, how is he skiing? He's skiing uphill. So how is he skiing on a slope? This would be a positive slope. What kind of slope would this be? This would be a negative slope. And this here would be a, we just learned it, zero slope. He's getting zero help. That's how I think of it. But then he gets here and he goes, no! Why? Because he fell off the mountain. Because he went down the cliff. There's no slope. So this one is no. That's kind of how I keep it straight between zero slope and no slope. He's getting zero help here, but this, you don't ever want to fall off the mountain cliff. So you go no. So that's how it helps you. Okay, so those were our special slopes that we needed to pay a little bit closer attention to. Thank you so much for joining us because zero slope and no slope can get a little bit confusing. If you have any questions, make sure you rewatch that or ask in class. And I can't wait to see you in our next lesson. And remember, be kind because we all can use some extra kindness in our lives. Bye for now.